Hello, Unique Givers. How are you doing today? It's good to be back again. All right, for today's tutorial, I'll be teaching how I achieve this design, though a client made a request that I should create a scaffinator design for her. So I ended up getting this design. So guys, I decided to teach this on my channel. I hope it will be of benefit to you. So without taking your, without taking your time, let's move straight to the tutorial. All right, guys, for this project, I used one yard of fabric, and this is doll face fabric. So you can use any non stretchy fabric to do yours, okay? All right, um, the length of this fabric is 57 inches by 27 inches width. The length is 57 inches. I've already cut it out. Why mine is 57 inches is because I used full length of the doll face fabric. So if yours is up to 60, you can use it. If you don't want yours to be too long, you can reduce it. But I just want mine to be long. So the person that will use it can tie any design at the back. Okay. So um, what I'll be doing now is to show you how to hem the edges of this fabric. Okay. You can see the way I'm folding both the width part and the length part. Just fold it in this way. going to fold it one and fold again too then you sew it down i don't know if you understand me so what we'll be doing now is to sew the left right and one of the width parts you see this part i didn't sew it if you watch closely you wonder you find that i didn't sew this side then this length part i did the sewing there you can see it then the other side of the width you can see it i did sewing there i sew it down then the other side of the length again I sew it so it means I didn't sew only one side so I I purposely leave that part on soon because I'll be putting my marker there so don't you understand me you know, remember this is Zara scarf some people call it Zara scarfinator so I didn't sew this part all right so um unfold I'll just try to locate the center of the fabric so um when you locate the center of the fabric, use your scissors to notch the center. This will help you to align your marco to the center of that fabric. And this is my marco. Um, this marco measures 20 inches by 3 inches. Note, you can reduce the, the length of your marco to 18 inches. Yes, I noticed that while tying this, um, I had to tie it like um, when I placed on the head. I had to pleat the back very well before it, it was able to grip the head well. So if you want to reduce yours, you can reduce it to 18 or 19 inches. But I used 20 inches. It was it still came out cute though. Uh, but if you want to reduce yours, you can go on and do that. It's still allowed. Alright, so this is me aligning the macro placed inside the fabric as usual if you can sew your zara cap this will not be new to you make sure that the center of the marker aligns to that place you notched on the fabric you fold it down and you can use your your pins as a guide to hold it before taking to your sewing machine all right so after folding it in this way i use my pin as a guide you can see i used pin to hold it very well before sewing it so this part will be sewing it down but before taking it to your sewing machine hmm, make sure you use your pin to hold the two sides of the marco so you won't have trouble i'm um, going back to sew it see what i did now i still use my pin to hold these two sides before taking it to my sewing machine so you'll be sewing these two sides too after sewing the long part you also sew this side and so the other side don't know if you get me all right at this point your zara scarfinator is ready so your zara scarf is ready you can wear it this way you can put your applique your stones your flower materials and rock it this way what matters is um what you want i don't know if you get me so you can use this this is your zara scarf you can see all every part is all soon so you can rock it this way but you know me, I love doing some rishi rishi to beautify my headgear. Uh huh. So I decided to add one or two to boost the beauty. So that's why I came up with this design. And this is my one inch foam. One inch foam. And the length is 25 inches 
by 3 inches width. So I had to fold it this way. This design is not a new design on my channel. I've done it before. Remember I said whenever you're attacking your foam, don't drag it much so you don't tear that foam. I don't even understand me. Why are you attacking like this? Don't drag it too much. Don't tighten your hand. Reason is because if you tighten your hand, it means this foam, you will cut it. It will tear. Why sewing? Why stitching it? You can decide to gum it if you don't want to stitch. You can apply your gum and gum it as you fold. It's still allowed. Guys, if you find this video helpful, kindly click the thumbs up button. That is, you like this video. And um, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the Unique Diverse family. You're highly welcome. Then if you have any question, please don't hesitate to use the comment section. Okay, you can ask your question there. You can as well join our WhatsApp group where your other swimmates are there. We have many swimmates there. You can throw your questions there and we relate to each other. If you are unable to join the WhatsApp group through the link on my description box, shut up this number on the screen. Okay, and I will send the link to you. Alright guys, the fabric I'm holding is the one I will use to wrap up the foam and the length may just 25 inches by 4 inches width. And this is the right part, why the inside is the wrong part. Where I'm placing this foam now hmm, is the wrong part. Why the part where you'll be stitching will be the right part. I don't know if you understand me. So I'm going to hold this way and sew it with your sewing machine this way. Just sew it down. And after sewing... You notice that there's allowance there. There are some um, fabric that stick. So what you just do is use your scissors to cut it out. Then use your lighter to just hem the mouth to smoothen it. All right. So this is how it looks. So I'll be folding it here. After folding it in this way, I'll take it to my sewing machine and also sew down. I'll be doing the same thing to this part. And this is the outcome after sewing. I don't know if you get it. So, the next thing I'll be doing is to add extra beauty to this. Mm? Alright, and this is bias. This is called shiny bias. Yes, this is the one inch shiny bias. You can use any applique to beautify yours. I wrote my USU gum there before wrapping it around this foam. Guys, if you find this video helpful eh, and you didn't like it, hey God, I don't know. If I'm not doing me good though. You're not doing it at all. You're not helping me. Help my ministry now. Move this this ministry to the permanent site. <laughs> Please just hit that thumbs up button. Hit it. Hit it. Bam. Mm? All right. So um, and if you've not subscribed to this channel, hey, you're missing a lot too. I'm not even talking about those that have not joined our WhatsApp group. Hey. Anyway, you're dulling yourself. You're dulling yourself because I know whatever I share on this platform is free. And it is free indeed. Mm -hmm. So, um, once you are done wrapping it around, also cut out the excess part. Use your... Actually, I got two yards of this embayat and it was remaining. I got two yards. So, it was remaining after designing this. And this is how it looks. Guys, you mustn't do this as caffeinator. You can decide to change this to be a, a Zara cap. You know mine is Zara scarf, Abby. You can do yours to be... Even Zara cap is still allowed. All right, you can see the way I folded it in. And I'll be tacking it this way with my needle and thread. I didn't use sewing machine here. I used my needle and thread to tack. And I'll be doing the same thing here on the other side. So I'm done tacking. And I'll be using my needle and thread to hold it down to the macro. Okay? So I'm going to sew here and also sew the other side of it. I just tacked just two points. And this is the outcome. So I'll be showing you how to design this i'll just be showing you two designs i'll be tying this freestyle design i call this the freestyle design you can see the way I, I i folded the back well then i tied it well and you can drop it like this and this is it mm. imagine you're rocking this on your bubble gown aha uh -huh. with your glasses oh boy hi this is what this is what we call rich anti vibes this is what we call rich anti vibes as in as in, you rock this, be pressing your phone, do as if so you don't know what you are doing. And people are just there eyeing and snapping the, 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 the headgear. Ah, mm. Anyway, if you find this helpful, if you, know, if, see, if you don't like this video here, eh, you're not doing me good, though. You're not doing me good. See this season, no grief for anybody. 
Because since I've been grieving for other people, it has not changed anything. This time, no grief for anybody. No grief. This season is called pepper them season. This pepper them. If you, in fact, if they refuse to announce you, use your headgear. If I let the, let the headgear announce you by force, my sister, you'll be announced by that headgear. You go rock. You don't understand me. Rock calm. Rock calm. Now your headgear. Yes. Let the headgear do the announcement. And it will attract more customers to you. So, guys, thanks for staying up to this time. I love you all. See you next time. Bye.